the reason why it's mentioned a lot, I think, is because you can gain a lot or lose a lot uh, purely because of a good strategy or, or a bad strategy. Um, it involves a lot of things. Um, tires are an important factor because, of course, that has a direct impact on the performance of the car. Uh, you have to have one pit stop at least during the race, but you can choose the tire order, you can choose a number of pit stops, and all of that is in order to try and outbeat your direct competitor, which in theory can have exactly the same pace than you. So it's a little bit like a, like a game. Uh, you can try to outsmart your competitor by doing something different. So that's what strategy is, is about. What people realize, I think a little bit less, it's it doesn't happen only in qualifying or the race. Strategy is something that starts for an event two months, sometimes three months, even before the event starts, because that's where we need to tell the tire supplier what type of compound we want and how many of them uh, we would like to bring. So at this stage, we, we already need to know roughly how the weekend will pan out and what kind of options we want to cover who is likely to be our competitor, what's our championship position is likely to be at the time, do we, do we want to be in, a, in an attacking position or defending position. So all this needs to happen two or three months before the, before the race.